Well, what's going on YouTubers? And today we're working on our final step. We're we'll matching the Fortec intake to the heads which we recently ported. So let's get started. All right, so here is our intake. It's a Summit brand Vortec intake. And this one is idle to 5500, which he really needs to go to a bigger intake. We're not worried about that right now. This is just gonna get him by until we get another one. But uh, his cam will pull all the way to 6,000 RPM. This one kind of shuts down right around 5500. But hopefully we can get about 500 more RPM out of it by just raising the runners to match the heads. And let's go ahead and flip it over. Take some more. And you can see right here, this is where I have figured out where the gas is gonna lie. If you look right here, this is, when it came off the motor, you can see the marks where this stuff right here was, which is the gasket material, the seats, I guess you'd say the little rubber seal. And uh, it's gonna line up right around like this. So you can see right here, that's that rubber seal, so you can get a really good idea of where this is gonna be on the engine. It's be right around there. Now, I purposely made the ports in the head bigger than the intake. The reason why I do that is because you don't want any step in the transition of air from the intake going into the heads. Because if it's hitting like a little step, it'll cause swirls and you get turbulence and you don't want that. You want a smooth transition of air going from this right into your head. So that's what you want to do. So, I've already mapped this all out. They're using the redneck method again. And I'm just gonna port right here, pull all this back and go to this line that I described because this is where the head's gonna be and that's gonna be your intake when it meets the head. So we want it to be a nice smooth transition going in there. Okay, and the bit we're gonna use is this guy right here, one of the bigger ones. And since this is aluminum, you wanna use a very generous amount of the grinder's grease. If not, you're gonna get stuff that's gonna load up all in these little small cutting edges and it's not gonna cut more shit in about 10 minutes. Just start sticking in there and it'll be garbage. So, if you're doing aluminum, always want to use a nice, good amount of this. All right, so here we are. Basically, all I did was just pull this wall back, which is going to be the push rod pin side, and I raised the runner on the intake, which is going to be the raised runners on our head. So, basically, we're promoting air more air towards the push rod pin side, and we're promoting more air towards the top of the runners. That way you can get a little more RPM out of it, a little more velocity on the head, and that'll help your gains right there. So next, we're gonna go with this guy, and we're going to just blend all this nice and back, and that'll be pretty much it. Do that for all your intakes, and you're good to go. Bolt it up, haul ass. Go ahead and blend it back now. All right, so we've uh, blended it all back in the bowl. Basically, just did what I did with the other stuff. Just smoothed it out and took it back in there. And uh, you don't, there's no need to polish your intake because it's not going to help. It's actually going to degrade performance because what you want, you want this to be rough. So when the fuel starts coming down, it causes a little bit of turbulence on the edges, which is going to keep that fuel from skinning slick and it's going to atomize it as it goes into your combustion chamber. So and that's about it. Let's take one more look at this right here. See if I can get this for you guys. All right, so in the intake, you can see in the sides, I've smoothed them out. This one had a bunch of bad casting marks in there and lumps. So basically what I did was back in here, I just smoothed it out. So that way it doesn't have a bunch of lumps in the air more quickly and smoothly goes around this corner. The same thing here, you can see anything bad casting, you just want to just clean it up to uh, promote better atomization of the fuel and the air into your engine. But anyways, that's it for the intake, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and peace out.